Louisiana Beer Reviews, Anderson Valley, Salted Caramel Porter. Wow, salted this is Caramel cool. Porter. This is coming in at 9.5% alcohol. Mm. Uh, it says it's a malt beverage with natural flavors aged six months in bourbon barrels. Here we go again, kids. Another bourbon barrel age. Man. Yeah, we just did the uh, stout, which was thin. It was aged for three months. So let's see what this one's all about. Yeah, we, porter aged. Have you ever had a porter aged in bourbon barrels? Mm, not to my knowledge. Not to my recollection. Uh, we so, weren't too thrilled with the other one. This so, one should be sweet. Boozy, of course. You want to pour that out. That's your water residue. Guess he poured it out. Well, I would look at that. Water. It's coming through the color of a barley wine. Oh, and by the way, the tap water in Spain tasted fine. I drank it the whole time, and I never got sick. Conversation coming. I never got sick. Cause I don't know. That was before I went on my trip. That only counts in Mexico. That doesn't count in Spain. Yeah, I you was. Get, you're, you're continentally challenged right now. Yeah, because on, online people were like, it's fine to drink it over there. What are you talking about? And I tried it, and it tastes fine. All right, anyway, um, not too much of a head. A little beige. I don't believe you use a Mexican reference when it comes to Spain. I, I, I didn't. I just said the tap water was fine. Okay, malt beverage with natural flavors, aged six months in bourbon barrels. Uh, don't give the bitterness units. It's uh, hey, hello. 103rd day of this year, 2023, at time of recording, it'll be 2024 for this gets posted. One thing I'll say about 2024, it will end in an even number. <laughs> Get it? Four, even number. All right. Um, so. Do, do, do. Ew, ew. Not much head of foam, a little beige head of foam, dark brown. Nah, not so dark. Yeah, dark brown, dark brown. Yeah. Dark brown. Cheers, cheers. I'd say it's more of a mahogany brown. Which is That's a type, what of, I said. type of dark brown. Yeah, it, it kind of looks, to me, looks more like a... Uh, dark brown. I mean, it's like, it's that's so what it is. It's, it's ready. That's what I said, mahogany. It has some reddish, yeah, at the light. From outside hits it, there is a little red to it. Yeah, but Cheers. not much. Cheers, the aroma. Yeah, a little bourbon. A little bit. Again, it's a low, it's a low aroma beer. It's a lot of malt, like yeah. barley malt. Yeah. It's like very bready. Y'all like I, bread? Yeah, I think they were probably trying to go with a barley one here. You like bread? Okay, let's go with the taste. Oh, this Joker's bo boozy. Oh, it's boozy. It's sweet. Not too much salt. I don't know. Not really any salt. It's kind of a go Oh, no, no salt's there. It's all over my tongue now. No, you're imagining it. It's like sodium salt. I can taste it. When you're sensitive to something like that, you can taste it. Uh-huh. Oh, um, so it's in there. Not too much bourbon. So as it dissipates, I really get like, like a salty pretzel that's coming through with this. Sweet. I think the thinner body stout brought in more bourbon flavor than the heavier body porter, <laughs> which didn't bring in much bourbon flavor, even though it's a six months age and that's only three months age. In I think barrels. you need to slow down and taste this again. I'm getting bourbon. You're running a little. I'm calm, slow and I'm calm, you know. Just slow down. You need to savor this one. This this one's got all kinds of stuff going on with it. Being very slow and very calm, folks. Can't you tell? Can't you tell? <laughs> um. Uh, I get I get a salty caramel pretzel taste with this and I'm getting the bourbon I'm getting the wood I can taste that wood that kind of charred wood a little bit I think the stout had more bourbon flavor it did have more bourbon flavor but I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna cross compare the two I'm not I'm not I'm not doing a contrast compare 
Um, you're above them. I'm, I'm reviewing this beer, not versus the other one. I know, but I have stick to, have to a, the program. That's my reference stick point. Stick to the program. We're that's reviewing this beer. Point. We're not doing a contrast compared to the other one. This isn't a this isn't a Dawn Busters challenge. You know what? I might do another one of those later today, depending on how I feel. Um, okay, it's a much, it's a velvety mouthfeel. It's a fuller body than that so-called stout. Did you sign up for that for that program over at Oxford Hospital? What is it? A beer tasting program or like a transplant? transplant? For the transplant. When you're ready. Yeah, I didn't sign up for that. Okay. Um. I, it's not sweet, okay, this is not a sweet beer. Maybe, and I mean maybe, that's pushing it, maybe it's two out of five sugar cubes, but I don't know. Bitterness, there's no bitterness here. Who's, who's that guy that's married to Cher? Had the long blonde hair. Allman? Yeah, Greg Allman. Was his name Greg? Or? Yeah, he's no angel. Yeah, he used to come in town and uh, get together with my uncle, and they'd go shoot pool and Hang out and all that, and they go to like the Carrollton station and all that stuff. You know, he was a big Jack Daniels drinker. He got a, a liver transplant, and still died. Yeah. So, just because you get a new filter, doesn't mean the rest of you can filter it out. Yeah, he said, "Let me show you my tattoo. Um, let me rock your cradle." Uh, but anyway, um, I actually met him one time. He was kind of short and skinny. I keep thinking, I met Dr. John one time, like, I, this is like a fantasy or something or a dream, but I, I go, I've go. i been to New Orleans many times to people's house. I've met him before. It seemed like I was at, okay, just listen, it seemed like I was at somebody's house one time at like a party for like Mardi Gras or Christmas, uh -huh. and he was over there and they were like, oh, hey, Dr. John, he's like, hey, how you doing? And I was like, oh, that's that guy that's on, people talk about all the time. But I think maybe I've just, yeah, I just think I'm dreaming that, you know. I did meet Ronnie Virgis, Ronnie Virgis once, for sure. I, That's I not too. a dream. I bet him. But they both have passed away. Yeah. I'm starting to pick up more of the bourbon now. Um, but you know, they're not as famous as Frank Davis was. Frank Davis has got a bridge name after Oh, the, yeah, the interstate. <laughs> but the cooking show, I never met him. Okay, but... um. I don't know, I just think somewhere that Dr. John was somewhere I was at, and I, I don't, I keeps think, bothering me. First off, let's get back to the beer. I want to say something before you go off on your, on your judgment on this one, because I know you're going to judge it against oh, yeah. a stout. Definitely. You're going to judge, nowhere does this say that this is a stout. It says it's a salted caramel porter. I'm going to be ruthless. We know. No, I'm going to judge against you, porters, you can do whatever, actually. Whatever you want to. This is your review. I like it. I like it. I like everything. I think, like I think they did a real good job on this, and, and I'm gonna. This one's gonna get a high score. For me. I'm not too thrilled with it. I, I'll tell you why. Um, okay, let me go through it. It does. Ha okay, so it's higher than two out of five sugar cubes. It's more like three out of five. Okay, so I was wrong on that. But it's kind of. There is a velvety mouthfeel, semi-sweet finish, mostly dry finish. Okay, I'm coming over to your side. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> I'll give it a... But do you get the pretzel aspect? Like, it's, like if somebody took a, yeah, a, a, a bit, salted yeah. pretzel and dipped it in, it's kind of like that caramel. Okay. You know, you just had that and you ate that well, and you drank, you, drank, you drank this and it's just like a beer. Yeah, I'm starting to I'm starting to get all what you're saying. Yeah, I was wrong. Um, I'll go with a 93, 9.3 out of 10. I don't know. I was a little confused by this product. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it would be right up there with you, but uh, I'm gonna give this a 91. Uh, oh, so you set me up? No. Okay. No, no, no I'm not. I'm, I'm not trying to be an influencer. <laughs> but I, I do think it's a 93. Yeah, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. A lot. I think it's delicate. It's really good. 
Uh, it gets an A minus because I don't really have anything to judge it against. So I don't really have a base point. So yeah, well, <laughs> good. I mean, why would you give something to A minus because you got nothing to judge it against? Just rate it on what. Like, there's other things that, that rated on could what be better. So and ninety one's a real good grade. So don't don't be like all over me. It's it's still got an egg. Yeah, but I mean, because you, you got no reference point. I mean, you just uh, oh, Tom, you you're not grading papers anymore. So settle it down. We're grading beers. I was fair when I graded papers. Okay. Um, I'm thinking 93 is a good score, and 91 score. to me is a little low. But you know, but this beer is confusing. I, it will. It will. It will throw you. 91.5. Yeah. It'll kind of confuse you a little bit. Uh, I'm confused that I'll tell you what. The main thing I'm confused about is why this was in Louisiana. I don't know. For not seeing it for like 10 years, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I found it. When you showed me the bottle, the cans and the package, I was like, like stunned, you know? I just found it. I was really stunned. It so anyway, sick. so, all right, so Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, we're saying excellent to most excellent. Kind of confusing product, but, uh, but really it's confusing. I'd just say it's, it's one of those anomaly beers that come out. It's, it's on its own scale. So, I mean, a 91.5 is, is a good grade. All right, well, I'll say it's kind of confusing. Not explicitly It's just another flavored beer. I mean, look at all the confusing things that smaller craft companies put out there. Good Lord, I saw somebody post something online the other day. It's the same color as, 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 as your cabinets right here. That grass green? Yeah. That ain't grass green. That's like, that's like antifreeze colored green. You know, you see all these things, it's like, wow. And they come up, oh yeah, well look at this ready pink thing. And it's like, what is that? What is that? You don't even know what it is you're drinking anymore. You know, well, at I least see this is a beer. It's, it's not disguised to be something else. It's not, it's, it's, it's not hiding itself behind fancy can art, which to Funny me, I'm just, that's, that's just a turn off. I mean, you're nothing with, about the devil. Right, yeah. No, I picked these colors because I was trying to do like nature colors, like grass, uh, those golden rods, you know, like uh, dirt. No. All right, I'm, I'm thinking where's your stray jacket at? Okay, so anyway, folks, uh, it's a controversial product that you might find and you may not find it. So we're going to end this review by saying, I'll say if you find it, pick it up, try it. This one's worth the try. It's worth the try. And it's had, ooh, the alcohol in it, 9.5. It's like drinking wine. I just don't perceive alcohol anymore because of Dawnbusters. Yeah. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> just kidding. the palate early. Just kidding. And we're going to end this review by saying, y'all go to California and take a brewery tour. Oh.